Good morning viewers, welcome to Top of the Morning by Mint, your weekday newscast that brings you five major stories from the world of business. It's Thursday, October 17th, 2024. My name is Nelson John, let's get started. The Indian stock markets declined for the second straight session on Wednesday with the benchmark Sensex shedding 319 points or 0.39% and the Nifty 50 slipping 86 points or 0.34%. In the past three months, several films have been re-released in theatres, driving higher footfalls and occupancy rates for PBR Inox, India's largest cinema chain. Abhinaba Saha reports that the re-releases now account for 6% of the chain's total footfalls. PBR Inox plans to continue this strategy in the coming quarters, with upcoming blockbusters like Singham Again and Pushpa 2 expected to further boost its business and consequently its stock performance. Over the past two decades, Bandra Kurla Complex PKC, has emerged as Mumbai's premier business hub, housing giants like the National Stock Exchange, SEBI, ICICI Bank and Facebook. However, available office space in BKC is now scarce, with vacancy rates hovering at just 3-4%. Kushi Malhotra reports that the intense demand for office space has driven businesses to explore nearby areas such as Kalina, Kurla, Wardli and Lower Parel. Yet with many projects in these locations still years from completion, companies seeking Grade A offices face a prolonged wait. How much does Bujia cost? According to Haldirams, about $10 billion. The leading stack maker initially explored a majority sale but is now eyeing a smaller stake sale, Sneha Shah reports. Despite the shift, investors like Bain Capital, Blackstone and Temasek Holdings remain interested, eager to tap into India's booming snacks market. With its status as a profitable market leader and a potential IPO candidate, Haldirams presents a compelling investment opportunity, Sneha adds. The Indian rupee hit a record low of 84.07 against the US dollar this week, marking a depreciation of over 9% since April 2022, far exceeding the typical 3% annual decline. The slide is attributed to foreign institutional investors pulling out around $8 billion this month, dampening demand for the rupee. With global markets in flux and geopolitical tensions, such as the Israel-Iran conflict and the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war adding pressure, experts anticipate further depreciation, possibly touching 84.20. Sumant Banerjee breaks down how the weakening rupee impacts both you and the broader economy. Pratilipi, the platform for long-form regional stories, hit a major milestone in July 2024 by turning cash flow positive. Founded in 2014, with backing from big names like Tencent and Nexus Ventures, Pratilipi saw its revenue jump 66% to 58 crore rupees last year, while it managed to slash its losses by 62%. In a market where many content platforms have struggled or either shut down, Pratilipi's focus on in-depth storytelling in Indian languages has set it apart. While others chase short videos and other social media trends, Pratilipi remained true to its core, delivering engaging narratives across 12 regional languages. The platform's success comes by its loyal reader base, mostly women aged between 18 to 35, and a commitment to its authors offering workshops and fellowships to support their work. Shadma Sheikh delves into how the platform scripted a rare hit. You can also listen to the Top of the Morning podcast uploaded every weekday at 6 a.m. Find the link in the description. That's all for today. Thank you for joining in. We are eagerly looking forward to our next Top of the Morning episode, which will be packed with fresh business news. Until then, have a great day. 